Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create uh, or generate uh, OTP, one-time password. So in order to understand this concept better, first you need to understand some basic functions to be used uh, from the modules. So one such function is uh, importing random module and using the random function from the random module. Okay. So I'll just show you an example for uh, using this random function, which is imported from random module. So let's get started. First, uh, I'm writing import uh, random. Okay. So now uh, I'll take a, a variable using which I'm going to import this module and uh, using a random function in this particular module okay so first understand what this random function is going to perform okay so then it will be very easy to understand the otb generated program okay so let's execute this and see what is the output produced by this particular code okay so you can observe this is producing a value, okay, which is lying between zero and one. If you execute multiple times, then you will understand that. This time you got uh, uh, 0 0.99, okay. Next time, when you execute, uh, you'll get a different value, 0 0.6532 like this, okay. So how can I get a value which is lying between zero to nine. Okay. So in order to obtain this value, very simple, I will just multiply this value of A with 10. Okay. So let us execute now. So we got a value which is lying between zero and 10. So, but generally OTP number contains all digits individually if you consider and whose value is uh, from zero to nine. Okay. Each of the digit is lying between zero to nine, including zero and nine, right? So for this purpose, I want a floor value of this. I want a floor value of this. The floor value of 9.88 is nine itself. So for this purpose, I'm going to make use of another module that is a math module. Okay, random comma math module. So here uh, I'll just write B is equal to A into 10. So which is going to produce, uh, you know, a value like this 9.8868 like this. So but now I, I have to fetch a floor value from this. So in order to fetch a floor value from this uh, I'll store that floor value in a variable called B okay so you have to import that floor function from the math module okay so math dot floor so now let's print value of B here okay and also I'll show you value of A here print value of a okay now execute this so you can observe clearly the value of a obtained with the help of random function is 0 0.31800 like this now we are taking the same value of a and multiplying this value of a with 10 so you will get 3.18 and what is the floor value of 3.18 the floor value of 3.18 is 3 so that is stored in b and we are printing b got it so this is how we can actually obtain a, a digit randomly lying between 0 to 9 okay so now this is very easy for us uh, to implement uh, otp generator program with the help of this knowledge okay so let's get started. So now this is a complete code for generating a four digit OTP 
Okay. So for this purpose, I'm going to import a random module. So the purpose of importing random module is to generate a random number, generate a random number in the range of uh, zero to one. Okay. So writing a random function after importing a random uh, module, you will get a value which is lying between zero to one as discussed. Okay. And that value will be stored inside a variable called a year. Okay. So next we are importing math module. So in order to make use of floor function inside math module. So let's see the execution part of this particular code. So before going into the execution, we'll just discuss the functionality of this code first. Okay. So you can see this is going to execute a print statement. Now it is going to display OTP of four digits and it is going to call this function generate OTP immediately the code inside generate OTP function will be executed and initially we are considering OTP is an empty string OTP is considered as an empty string and uh, using for loop uh, we are going to iterate this loop for four times that is for i equal to one i equal to two i equal to three i equal to four value should be less than five okay yes or no so there is a functionality of uh, range right so this part of the code will be executed you can see this is a code inside for loop and this will be executed for four times so every time it is going to generate uh, a random number which is lying between zero to nine okay if you run this for four times you will get four digits all are random numbers generated from zero to nine hence you will get a four digit otp number okay so if you observe this uh, a is equal to random dot random okay this is going to generate a value between zero to one okay a floating point value now this floating point value of a is multiplied with 10 and uh, you will get a value lying between 0 to 10 okay in terms of floating point value and uh, now we want to convert that floating point value into an integer value so we are making use of floor function in the math module so that it will be rounded off and uh, this newly obtained uh, integer value which is lying between 0 to 9 will be stored in this variable called b okay and now that variable is holding an integer value now i want to convert that integer value into string data type and append this particular character to the string called otp that is the purpose of taking otp as a string and finally after executing this loop for four times where four digits will be appended to the otp and it is going to return this four digit otp back to the calling function it means here exactly it is going to display the otp which is of four digits so let's execute this particular code and see so you can observe here we got a otp number like uh, 1651 you can execute this for multiple times double four two one next otp so next four three five three next otp three one double seven next otp nine one seven four next otp seven four two zero next otp one double zero four next otp one triple four next otp three nine one five next otp just like this it is going to generate a four digit otp number Suppose if you want to get a six digit OTP number, you just need to execute this loop for six times. For this purpose, replace this with seven and execute this code. This time you will get six digit OTP. Okay. You can execute this multiple times and see, you will always get six digit OTP in the outputs. Okay. So this is as simple as this. Only the thing is you have to learn what is random function involved in random module what is floor function in the map module then writing a generate otp function is damn easy 
okay so thank you guys thanks for watching bye bye